Yo, what's going on guys? Alex7 here and I am back with another Test Drive Unlimited Solo Crown video. Now, we all know, take a look at the date. It's January the 27th, 2022. And we haven't seen news regarding Test Drive Unlimited Solo Crown since July 2020, which is definitely a bit concerning, which some of you guys might say, but realistically, it's not that concerning. In fact, the marketing stance Makes a lot of sense and my chair is pretty squeaky. That's totally relevant to this whole video. But anyways, in today's video, I'm going to give you guys when to expect news next for TDUSC. And that's coming from my own opinion. Again, I don't know anything. I know the same thing as you guys. So it's just my own thoughts and opinions on the subject. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this video. So when to expect news. Now, let's be honest. Here are so far, we've gotten quite a few updates regarding TDUSC. It was announced in July 2020. And then we got the head-to-head -head trailer in April 2021, followed by the Welcome to Hong Kong Island trailer in July 2021. Now, since then, we haven't gotten anything, which I think a lot of us have expected. If you go to Reddit, it's a totally different, like, group of people who expect something different than the people in Discord. It's actually crazy how the community between Discord and Reddit are totally different. People on Reddit are a bit more annoyed than the people on Discord, but we already knew this is probably going to happen. We're probably not going to get any more news until April this year, which let me tell you why. Okay, so Nikon Racing Week. Now, last time this happened, we got our last bit of news, which was the head-to-head -head trailer April of last year. Now, it was announced on the 12th of April, which was the third week in April. So I'm pretty sure they're going to follow something similar this time. However, last year, they announced WRC9 on the Switch as well as some accolades regarding the game. They also revealed WRC 10 and its trailer. We also got a Rims Racing reveal as well. And of course, we also got the TDUSC head-to-head -head trailer with us as well. Now, just a quick fact about Rims Racing. It was announced July 2020, the same year that TDUSC got announced. However, it was revealed and released back of last year in August. Now, in April, during the racing week, Rims Racing, there was a gameplay trailer, I think, or a cinematic trailer, I should say. And then they followed up with some screenshots. So who knows, maybe when TDSC gets the next piece of news in this April, or well, hopefully again, nothing confirmed, but this April, they might actually show some screenshots as well as another cinematic trailer. Hard to tell, but we're just gonna have to wait and see. However, I'm pretty certain that Nakon Race Week is going to happen simply because of a couple of things. They have WRC 11 releasing this year, which is the last WRC game under Kilton's reign. After that, it's going to Codemasters, and the Codemasters game is probably going to be released next year. Don't know when, but most likely next year, as KT's license for the WRC game ends with WRC 11. So it makes sense with WRC 11 being the last WRC, the con would want to push this one heavy. As I'm sure a lot of people are going to stick with WRC 11 even after the Codemasters version comes out the following year. But on top of that, they got TDSC, which obviously it comes out this year it makes sense to bundle that in together with the con racing week however there's one extra thing which not a lot of people are talking about because at the moment Taeon, which the actually publishes quite a few games for the recently most published racing game that Taeon has done was monster truck championship which i've already played and i actually really thoroughly enjoyed it but Taeon is working on an unreal engine 5 sim racing game that is huge that is really huge. Now, we don't know anything about it, only the fact that it's next gen only, PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X. That's it, no PS4, nothing past then. So I'm sure they might actually tie that in this year, it's possible. It was actually revealed in a job posting last year in March. So there has been quite some time for this game to get some development going. Hopefully we might hear about that this year. Not sure when, if not at Nakon Race Week, we might actually see it come along in the con connect but i can't stress the fact guys that i don't think we're going to be getting gameplay until summer and that's all right there's no reason for us to be annoyed except for our own impatient needs as to why we haven't gotten gameplay yet think about it how many games forza horizon 5 need for speed heat uh the crew 2 so many games even test drive unlimited 2 didn't show actual gameplay until four or three months before the game releases so E3 or the Con Connect, I totally expect us to get gameplay before that. Maybe a screenshot, one or two, I'm not sure, or concept art, but gameplay, summer, don't expect anything less than that. If we get gameplay before, it's a bonus, but I don't expect gameplay to reach into our eyes 
before that time. I honestly think it's probably going to be another trailer, whether that be an uh, in-engine trailer, I don't know, that could be interesting, or it could be an actual cinematic trailer, just like the last three or four we've gotten. Bundled up with maybe some screenshots or a dev diary, I'm not sure how they'll do it, but it's going to be pretty interesting because don't forget, this is the biggest game. At some point, they're actually going to have to kick off the marketing and April onwards, I think makes total sense. Now in between April and summer, it would be really cool and fingers crossed, I hope that some things happen in between that time. We get some dev diaries or some blog posts or something of that sort just to keep us, you know, in the loop as we roll up to the summer waiting for either E3 or Nakong Connect. And regarding the dev or community manager interview guys, hopefully I should have some update after the next news drop. I don't know when that is, but after the next TDSC news drop, when we actually have some nice information given to us, by all means, I'm going to re-request that dev interview, get all everything sorted again. If there's any new questions that are going to pop up, then I'll of course include that in. But I promise, I have not stopped working on the dev and CM interview for you guys. It's going to be coming, I promise. Now, on top of all of this, Gamescom this year is pretty much going to be happening as well. I don't know if it's going to be in person, but Gamescom is happening this year again as well. One thing to note is that I'm pretty sure we might actually see KT appear here. Because don't forget, WC11, the last game, is releasing this year. And they've been to Gamescom every single year except for last year. Why? I don't know. Maybe they're just saving the budget for marketing until next year. They're going to bundle WC11 and TDSC in that Gamescom. I don't know. But yeah, it makes sense that you might actually see it this year at Gamescom. But yeah, it makes sense we might actually see WC11 and KT and TDSC appear at Gamescom this year as well. Just to do a quick little follow-up before launch. Because Gamescom is at the end of August and TDSC would literally launch just 30 days later after that. But that is just my thoughts and opinions on when we can expect to have some news next. Again, anything before April, I don't think will happen. But listen, I'm all ears if something happens before then. I hope something does, not a lot of you guys, because like everyone else, I would love to hear more information about TDSC, but marketing wise and all that, I don't mind waiting until April, somewhere around then, to expect some more information. I'm pretty sure the car race week will happen again, but just before I end this video, let me talk about one more thing. Why I think we shouldn't be worried about the marketing schedule and it makes sense. Think about it, you have a different developer and publisher compared to the last time the TD franchise was released. The game hasn't seen light in over 10 years, so it made sense to reveal the first trailer back two years ago. And key thing, which I find a lot of people on Reddit weren't actually aware of, but when the Discord was first created, guess what? Simon, the community manager, was actually asking us to email some ideas. Car, we had a car list chat where we could actually request cars, which hopefully we would see in the game. There was so many of the community feedback events that happened at that stage. Which, think about it, two years of dev time until release is plenty of time to actually listen to the community feedback, implement some features, which, yeah, so, my personal opinion was TDSC released too early to the public? Hell no. I think that year, July 2020, was the perfect time to bring TDSC into light, especially if you wanted to get community feedback, but... That's just my two cents, guys. If you did enjoy this video, leave a like down below and subscribe for more TDUSC content. You already know what it is. I'm out seven, and I'll see you guys in another video. I'm out. Peace.